the next one is a little more difficult, and you've probably heard snippets of it. Um, we're trying to sign Horton. Um, we're having difficulty, and we've got a, a list that, that that we may go to market on if we can't get him done. Um, with if we sign Horton or a comparable player for that salary, we have to move a player. And the player that I've been shopping is Sagan. I see work hard from Sagan. Not the second day. And he won't pay the price. I thought he worked hard. I give him credit, and I, I agree with Denny that he's learning. I thought he learned, like, in the playoffs. He's not a physical player. He's, he, he relies all on his skill. The South player. Yeah, it does. Snare player, no doubt. Does he fit our culture? Not knowing Horton's status was hampering the Bruins' efforts to work out their roster. So GM Peter Shirelli decided to get an answer once and for all. Hey, Paul. Not much. Not much. Just uh, looking at the tour de Are you, are you spreading the word that Horty's done? or? Um, where do we stand? No, I know, I know. That's okay. All right, Paul. Thanks, Mike. Done. So she wrote. Yep. He's down in Boston. Yep. Next day, June 30th, the Bruins Brain Trust reconvened to discuss their situation. They now know Nathan Horton will not be returning. So a final decision must be made on whether to trade Tyler Sagan or not. What I wanted to ask you guys is, uh, um, and I asked you guys a bit yesterday, but um, I, I want to I hear what you think. You may not know the full stuff, but I want to hear what you think about Sagan. Because he's going to be a real good player, and I'd like to hear your opinion again on, on trading him. I just think there's too many red flags. You know, he has a lot of talent, we know that. He should be scoring. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed, like, he brings up Kane. Like, if he gives us half of Kane, we win the Stanley Cup. So, you know, I don't like the way, the way his game's going. Like, he hasn't proven that he's... He's tough enough, or he plays our style of game. Like, I, I don't know if a leopard ever changes his spots, but he's going to have to. <coughs> I'll, we're going to be sitting here next year doing the same thing. Well, there's, always, there's a couple issues from my perspective. Uh, there's the on ice and off ice. On the ice, uh, certainly has all kinds of skill, but I don't care what age you are, you're three years into the league, you should have some improvement in the areas that, that I know uh, the coaching staff's talked to him about and it's and it's a little slower developing than it should be and that's because it's it's the areas that that, that uh, it's difficult to get into in this game and it, <clears throat> for me if we get you know we get the right deal for him then it's something we need to do questions okay, I'll just man the phones here and we'll see where we go. Within minutes of upper management reaching the tough decision that Tyler Sagan must go, Peter Shirelli wastes no time in trying to work a deal. Well, I maybe and that's what I'm calling like. like if there's a player available, then I would consider moving Tyler. But it would have to be more than like it'd have to be like if you had another. But if you had another first, I don't think they do. It would have to be your second. Possibly a prospect or something. Yeah. But, but I'm, I'm, I would consider it. Yeah.